one of the biggest projects and maybe most stressful projects I ever experienced so far working with Golden Guardians was Media Day. The goal of Media Day is to grab all the players we have, get them in one place, and take as much content of our players as we can. So the first thing I gotta do was actually fly up to San Francisco and go see how the Warriors, our basketball team, does their media day. The timeline just kind of fit perfectly with our project. So I gotta go up there for a day, gotta go see a lot of the players run through and do like video shoots, green screen stuff, photos, press conferences. It was really, really exciting. And I gotta talk with the staff and figure out like how they plan things, how it's run, uh, their processes. So taking all those lessons learned, I came back to the office and then I also talked to all the departments and like, what are all the things that we need to capture and what are all the things that we want to capture? So we realized we needed two photo shoots and to do two photo shoots, we needed a makeup and hair artist. We needed actually Zenny, which is our sponsor for glasses to come in to get people fitted so we can take photos of them in their glasses. We also needed an outfit stylist for one of the photo shoots. And then we also wanted to do a green screen. So that's all the assets we're collecting. Now, since we had all the players together, we decided to do more than just taking assets as well. So we had a brand deck orientation to go over orientation for the new players that were not part of the organization last year. We did peripheral tracks to make sure that we have all the gear for all the players. So it was a lot of stuff to collect and figure out and plan around. And then we also have 10 players going through coaching staff, competitive staff. So I think that total is 15 or 16 people. I can't remember off the top of my head. So I have all these stations I have to figure out and then put this in this compact puzzle of a schedule. The schedule was just one of the hardest, but also one of the most fun parts about it because I just kind of like solving puzzles. So then the day before, I remember I woke up at six or seven in the morning and started working at home. Then once the traffic died down, I drove to work and then didn't leave until midnight. It was uh, pretty spooky in the office, <laughs> but I left super late, came home, couldn't sleep because I was like so anxious about media day the next day. I got four hours of sleep and then media day started. So how did everything go? Actually, it started off pretty smooth. Um, players weren't late. The handlers that I signed to the players understood what needed to be done. Catering came on time. All the freelancers that we hired for photography, video, hair, makeup, stylist, like that went smoothly. And after like three hours, things were just like still running very smoothly. Until uh, I screwed up. <laughs> we had a request for photos that we wanted to add into the photo shoot. And somewhere in this whole busyness of everything, there was some stuff miscommunicated or lost in translation or just not said. And through that, we missed half the players getting photos. And these were like really, really important photos. So someone caught it. Uh, people were like, oh no, what do we do? And I just sat with the schedule, like trying to figure out like, okay, where's everyone located? Like, what are the players that didn't get those photos? I've been looking through all the photos and talking with the freelancer to figure out like, um, what do we need to do to fix it, right? So I was able to pull players in and they're like, hey, sorry, I'm really, really sorry, but can you get changed? We need to get one more photo. It's gonna take like three minutes for you. And then eventually uh, we got all the players, photos that we missed and everything worked out actually fine. So in retrospect, after the moment, after, after I had a moment to like just breathe, I was like, oh, that wasn't that big of a deal. Like we solved it, but I like took a moment to breathe calmed down and just kind of enjoyed it. And then, you know, we started tearing down certain stations that ended early and then eventually just stayed until the last station was done. Started picking up, cleaning things up, running room to room, making sure everything was taken care of, making sure all the freelancers have their like parking validation, all those like odds and ends. Get paperwork, sign it, go upstairs. And then the funny thing is I walk into the room and I promised someone at the beginning of the day that like, they have it, they do D&D. They usually do D&D on Fridays and media day was on a Friday and they wanted to start at 6.30. So I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna put a hard cut. We're gonna get done at 6.30. Like I said, I go back into the office. I see everyone sitting down and like, we're done. We did it. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And people are like, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, it feels great. High-fiving. And I look at my watch and it says exactly 6.30. I was like, oh my God, this couldn't have been any better than that. So that was really exciting to actually wrap up a whole project 
I remember I just like sat down and just like, I could just feel the exhaustion just hit me, right? Everyone's like getting ready for d and I'm not part of the d and group. And I'm just like, wow, I'm tired. Like I didn't eat. So I was like eating the sandwiches, the catering that we had, and I just kept eating and eating and eating. Coming back Monday, you know, it was really cool to see what happened because we got really, really good photos. We were posting them on social and our audience and the fans and esports people were like really excited like wow like this is how you rebrand wow these are super cool photos i was getting messages from people from all the orgs that were like wow golden gardens is doing like really great with this media day and like oh their art direction is so cool or all the logos like oh they were so excited and not only that the players usually have a hard time going through these content stuff because there's a lot of waiting around and they get bored and um they just want to play league they want to go back and play league but for the most part, like there was a really positive vibe and the players were excited. Like they were going up to the photographer like, oh, can I get a photo for my Instagram? Can I get a photo to tweet out? All the players were just really excited. So it was really cool to see like a project come into fruition that at first was really, really intimidating. I've never done anything like this. Like I've done like big projects. I've done like multi-million dollar projects when I was an engineer. I actually recently had something that I designed or like worked on uh, in space, but this was like the most intimidating thing I've ever done. <laughs> and it was just cool to see like uh, one that I had the resources to pull it off by like the support from staff, support from the Warriors, like getting up to go to see the Warriors do their media day. Awesome for my confidence. There's a lot of validation there. And ultimately like we put out some really cool stuff that I am so excited to see like for this upcoming split. And it's really cool to see that what we're doing is we're gonna use this as a template for future media days that we'll do for the League of Legends team next split. And then even like other expansion teams that we're working with. It's just really cool to see something that I put together and spent a lot of time, blood, sweat and tears, like work out. That's my media day. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you next time.